This Woolen Prince t-shirt is trash. After almost four years of continuous use, we're gonna talk about it next. All right, what is going on YouTube world? I'm your brother Reza, and this is Carity Life. Carity Life with the Y, like, subscribe, comment, all those things. And today's vlog is gonna be all about this t-shirt that I am currently wearing right now, the Wool and Prince Signature t-shirt. Now, I've been wearing this shirt for four-ish something years, almost exclusively, except for really, really cold days in Georgia. And I did a vlog about this shirt when I initially got it back then. I did the 100-day challenge and made a vlog about it. And for whatever reason, that video did not get any traction at all on YouTube, which is kind of bizarre to me. But um, in all my other videos that aren't about this t-shirt, my Land Cruiser stuff and travel stuff, people always ask, man, what t-shirt are you wearing? And I gotta say, hey, it's the Woolen Prince t-shirt. Go check out the vlog that I made about it, blah, blah, blah. And I'm not really sure if they ever do because the numbers on that video are horrible. But anyway, after four years of wearing this shirt, I wanted to share my thoughts uh, with y'all about these shirts because they are a little expensive and they may or may not be a good investment. So let's get into the video. So we're gonna start off with the uh, basic specs about this shirt. This is the signature crew neck shirt from Woolen Prince. It is $74, which is I think how much I paid for it four years ago, so no inflation there. Uh, it's 160 GSM, 78% merino wool, 22% nylon. Um, <clears throat> I wore this shirt and put it through the ringer. I wore it pretty much four seasons, spring, summer, fall, and sometimes winter days when it wasn't like under like, you know, 30 degrees outside. But I wore this shirt a lot, like a lot, lot, lot. And um, the pros and cons. So let's start with the pros after putting the shirt through the ringer. So the pros of this shirt are pretty obvious because it is merino wool. Uh, it's very smell, wrinkle, stretch and abrasion resistant. And to summarize all that, it is a quick drying, ultimate dad travel shirt. Uh, I've used this shirt on a lot of vacations, uh, camping, um, running, playing with the children, uh, weddings. Like I literally have taken this same shirt and gone from campsite to a wedding with it without washing it. Um, beaches like doing all types of yard work like anything and everything you can do in a shirt i have done in this shirt and it still has maintained its shape it's not falling apart it almost never smells like the only time it'll smell a little bit is if you go to a cigar bar or somewhere that has like really really heavy odor then that, that will kind of sit in the shirt but outside of it and then even if you do do that if you just hang the shirt up in your hotel or in your house at the end of the night by the next like day or two it won't even have that smell in it anymore so from like moisture management odor management maintaining this uh, uh shape uh maintaining the form factor of the shirt um wrinkle resistance like all of those shirts make this shirt one of the best shirts that i've ever had in my life period um, one thing that I did do to make my shirt look a little bit better, let me also say this real quick because the appearance of the shirt is something that I kind of gl glanced over in my notes. But the appearance of the shirt, it actually fits really good out the box, but it is a bit long. So people always ask me about the shirt and I did alter my shirts. I cut a couple of inches off the bottom to make them hit right at my, uh, right mid fly as you, was, as I think that's what they call it. Yeah, mid fly is where these shirts hit. But originally out of the packaging, they did not. They were very long. So that's one gripe that I do have about this shirt. I wish that it did uh, come in different lengths. So that, I guess, can let me segue pretty nicely right into the cons. So the cons, besides the uh, length. Overall, this text is good, minus the length. It's too long, just talked about that. But um, cons are, going to my notes real quick so I can remember, uh, material not uniform in texture and color. It's not true black and it doesn't feel as good as Supima cotton. So what I mean by that is if you can see this and I'm gonna do some close-ups, but this material, when I'm wearing it, when I'm looking at it, it doesn't have that uniform texture and feel of a traditional cotton shirt. It has this kind of like slub tee look to it. If you're cool with that, it's not that big of a deal, but I don't like that. I like my shirts to look, have a very, very uniform texture. And when you get this thing out in the sun, and I'm gonna overlay some footage here, you can kind of see that it's not a true black. It has this greenish hue to it, 
which is something that I do not like at all. I like my clothes to be as true black and deep black as it possibly can be. And these shirts just are not that. And they kind of have been like that since day one. They never like lost their color or, or gained any pigmentation. I don't know how they would do that. But they um pretty much look exactly the same as when I bought them, minus some of the uh, uh, peeling that is finally starting to happen after four years of super super heavy use so if you can see on the back especially on the lower back side of this shirt where my uh shirt um uh, rubs against uh my office chair and like you know driving in the car and doing all that kind of stuff you can you can finally see where this shirt is starting to peel and uh i could get a peel uh remover and probably clean this up and make it look like really good again but i haven't done that and this is how it looks after four years of really, really hard use. Um, and then the feel of the material. So the feel of the material is great for Merino, but I was in Uniglow two weeks ago in New York and I tried on one of their Supima cotton shirts. And when I tell you that thing feels like, oh my goodness, it feels like the Lexus of t-shirts or Mercedes or whatever you want to say uh luxury comparison like it's just that that Supima cotton feels so amazing against the skin and i realize that you're sacrificing a lot of other things like you know uh wrinkle and smell and uh, durability and stuff with supreme Supima cotton but it feels so good and i forgot that because i only wear these shirts so um would i buy these again um I would say that I would like to try better quality cotton shirts this go round and see how many years I can get out of them and see how they age because when I went from cotton to uh, H and uh, not H and M to woolen prints, I literally went from like cheap bottom of the barrel H and M t-shirts which are which are horrendous to woolen prints merino nylon shirts. So that is a massive leap forward in t-shirt technology and quality control and all that stuff so i'm kind of curious if i try like a uh, um, a woolen prints or what was that other company little white something or whatever the, one of these like higher end cotton t-shirts if i will you know, number one get the durability out of them that you know i got out of these woolen print shirts and number two will they be a little bit more comfortable uh the smell and wrinkle resistance i'm not really expecting that out of cotton i'm not really you know expecting all those performance things like quick drying and blah 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 but um i'm, I'm curious if i will be as happy with a cotton subpoena with the subpoena cotton or similar t-shirt as i have been with these woolen prints t-shirts so would i recommend them to you guys I would absolutely recommend them if you need a hardcore travel, like industrial strength, you cannot destroy this shirt shirt, then absolutely get this. But if you want something that looks more uniform, feels a bit nicer, something that you don't have to hem uh, straight out the box, I would look elsewhere. And one other thing I wanted to point out real quick before I end this video is that I can actually show you where this material is actually starting to... Uh, uh, get damaged so right here at the hem of the armpit I can the material is like I guess like losing fibers and you can see right through it and I did not even realize that until a few days ago so in conclusion after four years of super hard use and putting these shirts to the ringer and through the ringer and wearing them almost every single day they are finally showing signs of wear but this is a very tough shirt definitely worth the money uh, if it's that thing that you're looking for. So I'm your brother Reza. This is Carity Life. Carity Life with the Y. Like, subscribe, comment, and all that. And I hope that this Wool and Prince review gets a little bit more traction than the 100-day uh, challenge review. But uh, if you're looking at these shirts, great shirts. Um, outside the things I mentioned in this video, you should absolutely buy them. All right. And I will see you in the next video. Well, let me say one more thing. Wait, 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 wait. So some of the other colors might not have as consistent QC as the black ones. One of my friends, he got some of the other colors and did not have as good results with them. So also keep that in mind. But this black shirt, as far as I can tell, is still bulletproof. So go get them today, Wool and Prints. Uh, this is not a sponsored video or anything like that. They did send me a free shirt when I did the 100 day challenge to be 100% transparent. But outside of that, I don't know if I'm a bag of dirt. So buy at your own risk. There's going to be no product sponsors in this video because we're not sponsored, right? All right, peace. See you on the next vid.